Hi, today I want to check out what it sounds like if you cover a Celestian Greenback guitar speaker with scotch tape uh, all over the cone. Uh, may, 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 may seem as a ridiculous idea, uh, but, but, but in previous videos we have uh, had a look at the uh, Rishu Celestian Greenback, done a number of things to it, uh, scraped the the surface with sandpaper and, and so on, and, and, and that gave gave some good uh, results, actually. Uh, so so today we're going to try some something else uh, uh, when, when it comes to uh, uh, altering the surface and maybe also the stiffness of, of uh, the cone. I, I guess the surface uh, surface material, the surface roughness, and and the uh, kind of uh, wh wh whether the uh, surface is uh, uh, perfect uh, or not, kind of digital, you know, if, if it comes from some perfect uh, uh, process, it, 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 you may have, need to add some chaos to it. This is totally unscientific, of course. Just, just trial and error and see what works. In the video description you can see uh, references to, uh, to some other videos. Uh, during these lines uh, that, that, that I've made, for, for instance, one where we cut up the cone of a speaker to see how, rob how robust it is, how, how much damage must you do to the uh, speaker cone before it starts to sound significantly different, uh, a lot more than you, you may think. And there's also a video I, I, I use. I, I, I glue a cardboard uh, uh, cutout uh, on the voice coil and use that as a speaker. Uh, but today, let's check out what, what uh, scotch tape uh, sounds like. I, I was quite surprised by the result, actually. Let me know what you think. Thank you. 